welcome to Art Lessons in my studio. Today we're going to look at some still life. So we're going to uh, just close off this background so that you've got an opportunity to create something that doesn't have a distraction in the background. So at home you might want to use just um, a corner of the room down on the floor or you might be able to just have a couple of open pages of a book that can um, block off your background. We would usually drape some fabric and make it very beautiful. This can sometimes be really hard to draw. So you're, seeing as you're going to be drawing today, you might not want to do that, but let's set up a traditional still life. We've talked about the candle being something that can represent life and something that when it's snuffed out might mean that that life has been taken from us. We've used the symbolism of a book and when it's open, then it shows that we have access to that knowledge. We've also talked about symbolism of fruit. When it's bright and healthy like this piece, then it can show that there is the opportunity for life in abundance. Uh, we've also used symbolism such as roses to show life's beauty and a pink rose like this would show innocence. Uh, we could have objects that the artist might have used, such as tubes of paint that can show what their actual art practice is. But if I closed the book, then I no longer have access to that knowledge. And so I might want to create something that's a little bit more dramatic, saying, no, that knowledge is definitely gone. And if this piece of fruit had been eaten at, then it might show that... Um, life can sometimes turn bad and fruit could rot and fl uh, flies could be buzzing around this object indicating that life has gone a little bit sour. But you might not have access to these types of materials at your place. You might not have um, healthy food at the moment. You might be eating out of a cardboard box. You might not have antique candelabras or ancient books so I'm going to get you to think about looking at what's actually in front of you right now and what you've been eating and what you've been consuming, whether that's um, with your eyes, such as watching TV or consuming reading or consuming in eating. So what sorts of foods have you been eating lately? So you're going to try and set up a contemporary still life. And what could you tell the audience by using contemporary objects? Let's say a bottle of Coca-Cola and some not so healthy food, a box of shapes. And we could also have something that drapes around like the scarf did, but in this case, something a bit more current, something like a bit of paper towel floating around. We could have a cup that's been overturned, also has Coca-Cola symbol on it. We could have some hand sanitizer, very current, lid off. And we could even have a thermometer. And then you could capture that as an image using the rule of thirds. In the photograph that I've created here, you can see that I've chosen objects of different heights and different shapes. I've tried to find a mix of organic and geometric shapes. Geometric shapes being the square box of the box of shapes and the organic shapes like the curve of the top of the bottle and the paper towel that's wrapping itself around everything. That has made it more interesting and more difficult. I've also chosen small and large objects like the tiny thermometer and the large Coke bottle to give it balance. You can see that I've also placed the, the tall bottle not right in the middle but to one side to the left so that I'm looking at the rule of thirds. And then my horizon line, which is the where the cardboard's folded, creates the illusion of depth as well.
have your photo ready on the screen next to you or your still life set up next to you and you'll need a piece of paper and a pen. Creating a continuous line drawing means that I can't lift my pen off the paper and sometimes I'm going to make lines that I'm not particularly happy with but I can't rub them out when I'm using pen so I just have to keep working. This teaches us to be confident in our mark making and to really look hard for observation as to where the lines are that we need to draw. If I want to make a line stronger and darker, I can go over back and forth on that line several times so that I can create a stronger, darker line. Creating words is rather difficult and copying exactly what is in front of you can sometimes mean that you have to simplify the shapes that you're drawing. You might need to eliminate certain things and just focus on the areas that you need to so that the audience can understand what it is that you're actually drawing. For this drawing, you're going to tape three pens together, three textures, three pencils, or three pens, so that each time you make a mark, you're getting three of those lines in one go. So you might need to simplify your design so that you aren't doing all the objects from your photograph. So I'm just going to choose three main objects, the Coke bottle, the box of shapes, and the hand sanitizer. chosen to use an extra pen, one colour that I hadn't used previously with the three joined together, just so that I can add a little bit more tone to the work and make it a little bit more interesting. I hope you've had a lot of fun creating your drawings and your contemporary still life and it's really just about loosening up and seeing what's in front of you and trying to find all the shapes and lines. <music>